<clears throat> see here now so did you understand up to here any doubt until here is it is there any doubt now <clears throat> so here omega 0 omega 0 divided by 2 delta omega this is known as what measure of sharpness of resonance known as measure of measure measure of sharpness of resonance measure of sharpness of resonance that is it that is omega 0 by 2 delta omega so here smaller delta omega the sharper or narrower is the resonance so smaller so here it is smaller delta omega that is known as sharper or narrower is the resonance okay narrower is the resonance clear so smaller delta omega means if the value is missed that means it is narrow the resonance is very narrow or it is sharp is that clear are you there hmm. now the next one here we have quality uh, quality factor so <clears throat> So delta omega can also be see delta omega also can be written as delta omega can be also be written as r by 2l. R by 2l. This is from the derivation. R by 2l is this is from the derivation. Now we will equate both of them. What is that? The bandwidth the value, the bandwidth value. What is the bandwidth value? That is uh, sorry, sharpness of the resonance is what? This is sharpness of the resonance. This one is sharpness of the resonance. Omega 0 by Okay, omega 0 by 2 delta omega. That is the sharpness of the resonance. And omega 0, next one is what? <clears throat> it is given by what? Omega 0 L by R. This is omega 0 L by R. So, we are equating here omega 0 divided by 2 delta omega equal to what? Omega 0 L by R. This is the value. So, the ratio the ratio omega 0 divided L by R is called is called quality factor. Okay. Is called quality factor Q. Is called quality factor Q. The ratio omega 0 L by R is known as quality factor Q. So we can also write here Q is equal to what? Q is equal to Q is equal to omega 0 L by R. This ratio is known as quality factor. Now 2 delta omega, that's a bandwidth. Okay, 2 delta omega, omega, 2 delta omega is equal to what? Omega 0 by Q. It is known as omega 0 by Q. Why? What is Q here? Omega 0 L by R. Okay, so if, if you solve this one, see here, if you solve this one, I'll bring this in the numerator. 2 delta omega, if I bring in the numerator, it will, it will become this omega 0, omega 0 will go away. Okay, omega 0 R divided by omega 0 L. Okay. Uh, so this and this will go away. Clear? So what is left here? 2 delta omega is equal to R by L. So therefore we get uh, therefore we get that is omega 0 by Q. Okay. Why why Q? Because Q is equal to what? Omega 0 L by R. So that is the reason we get we got one more one more relation here. This is one relation. This is one relation. So these are all the relations. Okay. So these are all the relations. So once again, now omega 0 L by R is what? Resonance frequency. Maximum current is IM is equal to VM by R. This omega 0, omega 0 by 2 delta omega is known as measure of sharpness of the resonance. Means how sharp is the resonance? I suppose this is having narrow one and this one is having more. That is more bandwidth, less bandwidth. So sharp, how sharp it is. So that can be calculated using delta omega. And delta omega values can be easily calculated by R by 2L. No need to do the whole experiment. Just calculate these values. Now, so what will happen now? Now, so what will happen now? Omega 0, omega 0 by 2 delta omega is equal to omega 0 L by R. Then cross multiply will get that. The ratio omega 0 L by R is called quality factor. Q is equal to omega 0 L by R. Or we can also write 2 delta omega is equal to omega 0 by Q. We have one more relation. That is what? We also know that uh, Q is equal to what? Q is equal to uh, 1 by omega CR, omega 0 CR, one more relation in terms of capacitors and resistors. 
okay in, in terms of capacitors and resistors okay so this gives rise to what a selectivity what is selectivity i told you before also like suppose uh, like china tv is there like maybe uh, in the tv if you maybe when you press it one one digit it is one time if you press five bits it is taking if you take sony or lg tv like 50 times you can press miss one 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 two three four up to 50 times it can go the volume or the contrast whatever it is the brightness everything Whereas in some TVs, that many options will not be there. If you press 10 times, finish. It will go to the highest point. Understood? So that is said to be selectivity. So that selectivity is, how, how can we get that, that selectivity? That, that we can get with, with the help of R and L value. With the help of R and value. Okay? If R is low or L is large, if R is low, resistance is low and inductance is large, circuit is more selectivity. Okay? If R is low, if R is low and L is large, then the circuit is having more selectivity more selectivity means you have 50 times 100 times you can if you press like lg tv or uh, samsung tv or like good quality tvs you have more selectivity that's the difference between a china tv and the other tvs okay My, means not a non-branded tvs and all okay so you that, that's the difference you get okay so please copy this then we will go ahead with the uh, next next is uh, power in uh, Power in AC circuit. That is the power factor. Okay. <clears throat> so, <coughs> power factor. So what happens here, the, what is the formula here? We have V, V is equal to what? Vm sin omega t. This is my, my input uh, voltage. I is equal to what? Im. Im. Uh, <clears throat> Im into what? Im sin omega t plus pi. One second. So, <clears throat> what happened here? I is equal to I m sin. So, here we can write I is equal to what? I m equal to V m by Z. Okay. V m by Z. So, so, here what happens here? Phi is equal to what? Phi is equal to tan inverse of X C minus X L by R. Okay. X C minus X L by R. So, here what is the formula now? So, we can also write here. P is equal to what? V into I cos phi. Or we can also write P is equal to what? We have three formulas, right, for power. What are the three formulas? P is equal to V I is equal to what? I square R is equal to? P is equal to? P is equal to I square R is equal to? V square by R. Okay, these are the three formulas. So, I have used this formula V into I cos phi. Now, <clears throat> P is equal to what? I square into Z uh, cos phi. This is the formula. Now, what is cos phi? Cos phi is called, cos phi is called power factor. So, cos phi is called power factor. Is that clear? Now, here we have, is that clear? Once again, see, V is the, the input, this is the input voltage, this is the current. I m is equal to V m by Z. Phi is equal to tan inverse of X C minus X L by R. P is equal to V I cos phi. Now we have three formulas of power. Okay. So instead of writing I, V I, I am writing I square R. I square, I am not writing R. Instead of writing R, I am writing Z. Z because impedance is there. And phi is called the power factor. Okay. Cos phi is said to be power factor. If suppose, if, uh, okay. There are cases in that one. Okay. So we have only resistive circuit. Means, uh, the first one only resistive circuit. Only resistive circuit. Only resistive circuit. In this, in, in only resistive circuit, phi is equal to what? If phi is equal to zero, cos phi is equal to one. Cos phi value is equal to one. So we have maximum power dissipation. In this case, we have maximum 
power dissipation maximum power dissipation the second one okay the second one what we have here purely inductive or capacity circuit purely inductive or purely inductive or capacitive circuit <clears throat> Purely inductive capacity circuit. So phi is equal to what? Pi by 2. So what happens here? Cos pi by 2 cos 90 value is equal to 0. Okay. In that case, no power dissipation. Okay. This case is known as no power dissipation, no power dissipation or wattless current. No power dissipation or known as wattless current. Okay. This is known as wattless current. No. So here next one is LCR series circuit. Okay, we have LCR series circuit. LCR series circuit. So what happens here? In that we have the formula. That is what? So we are directly writing the formula. Pi is equal to tan inverse of Xc minus x by R. This is the formula. The fourth one, we have the fourth case. What is the fourth case? The fourth case is what? Power dissipated at resonance in LCR circuit. Power dissipated at resonance LCR circuit. Okay. In LCR circuit. In LCR circuit. So what is the formula here? So in this case, we have XC minus XL is equal to R. XC uh, equal to XL. Okay, this is happening at the resonance phenomena. So phi value will is equal to zero. So what will happen? Phi is equal to zero. Cos phi, cos phi is equal to one. So in that case, what will happen? Power is equal to we can write P is equal to there is no phi now. I square Z is equal to B I. This is this is the formula for power dissipation. Is that clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Please copy this one. Then we can go ahead. We'll stop here for today. Tomorrow, 9 o'clock, I will take the class, 9 to 11, okay?